Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gary with another Fan TV, man. Back at you the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on the videos. Let's get into today's topic, man. So listen, the Ravens have reached uh, two full weeks of training camp practices. Uh, we are here at day 14 of the Ravens being on the field for training camp. So you know what that means? We're getting closer and closer to the season. It'll be right here before you know it. And uh, so you know how we're going to do it, man. Injuries, offense, defense. So let's get right into it. Uh, first things first, though, before like, you know, we get into that. Uh, Ray Rice and uh, Marshawn Lynch were at Ravens practice today. So that's pretty cool, pretty interesting. Uh, Ray Rice, obviously, ex-Ravens player. And Marshawn Lynch, former running back in the league. Two really good players. Marshawn Lynch was a great player. And we know that Ray Rice is a uh, was a Ravens legend. You know what I mean? So uh, they were at practice today. All right. Um, injuries. Jalen Armour Davis, Rocky Seen, Arthur Marlette, Geno Stone, Trenton Simpson, Mekhi Pope, guys who did not practice. <laughs> All right, pup list, we know it's Davis, and at five, we know it's Tyus Bowser. Returning today, Veteran Day, uh, Morgan Moses, Ronnie Stanley, they both had, like I said, they both had Veteran Days yesterday. They're back at practice today. All right, Gus Edwards, who left practice early yesterday, is back today. Pepe Williams is the interesting one right here, okay? Pepe Williams left, uh, returned to practice. He's been out of practice for a couple days now. He returned to practice only to get injured again. This time, it looks to be a lot more serious. He was carted off the field, um, could not put any weight on his left foot. Uh, we know that coming into training camp, he's having that. He's, he was having ankle problems. That was the issue. I don't know if this is the same ankle that's been bothering him up until now. It could be, or it could be the other one. You know, either way, he was carted off the field. So, if that's my count right now, the Ravens have Pepe. You're seeing J.A.D. and Arthur Marlette all injured. That's four cornerbacks injured right now for the Ravens. A thin position, already thin. John Harbaugh, when asked about cornerback, that he said, yes, it's an issue, no doubt. So the Ravens have to find something to do at cornerback, right? I don't know how serious Jalen Armour Davis' injury is. Hopefully it's not too serious. If it's not, then the Ravens are a little bit covered there. But if Jalen Armour Davis is out for any extended period of time, the Ravens are going to have to sign somebody at cornerback. They're just going to have to um, because they're – there's running thin, then there's where the Ravens are at. The Ravens are almost at beyond thin. All right. Um, it's really just Marlon Humphrey and almost a bunch of undrafted guys after that. And that's that's, that's kind of where the Ravens are at this point in time when it comes to uh, cornerback depth. It's uh, it's definitely surpassed outside linebacker as the most worrying position right now on this team. All right. Um, now, uh, offense. Offense was sharp today. Offense won the day today. Uh, they were really good. Lamar Jackson, really good again. Um, so that makes three out of the four practices so far this week. The offense have been on it, and that Lamar Jackson himself has been on it. So um, that's great to hear. I love to hear my Lamar Jackson being sharp. I'm not surprised by it. Uh, he's going to show people how he throws the football this year, and I can't wait for people to see that. All right, long touchdown to Duvernay. We haven't really missed Devin Duvernay much uh, during the training camp process. But he did catch a long TD day from Lamar Jackson, so that's good. Uh, long touchdown to Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews has been a guy that's been a constant in his Ravens offense over the years. Has been the guy that hasn't changed his training camp. New offense is still going to go a lot of it through Mark Andrews. And obviously, you know, the receivers are going to get a large piece of the offense as well. But Mark Andrews is still going to be a major piece of what the Ravens do offensively uh, going forward. All right. Uh, Laquan Treadwell, heavily involved once again. Uh, I mentioned that in, when I did yesterday, when I talked about the Ravens releasing their first depth chart for the season, Laquan Trailwell was firmly at that number six wide receiver position because he's been playing well. He's been gaining momentum, and um, that momentum has not slowed down. He is still doing his thing, and he's looking like, as of right now, the Ravens, uh, the best position Ravens wide receiver to actually frown out that wide receiver spot and become that sixth receiver. Um, you know, in years past, the control might be a guy for the Ravens that was a lot higher. You know what I mean? So that show that goes to show the talent that the Ravens have at wide receiver that um, hasn't always been the case. You feel me? So um, good to see for multiple reasons right there. And um, our rookie, man, Zay Flowers shined once again at practice. He was good. Uh, they didn't really get too much details about what he did, but they said that he was good. Um, so this is no surprise. Uh, I feel like Zay Flowers is always getting these kind of reports. Um, the national media is starting to pick up on Zay Flowers a little bit more. Um, we've heard Peter King talk about that he's the best rookie he's seen so far. Um, excuse me, I, the people on Good Morning Football, I think it's Devin McCourty, uh, Kyle Brandt, they were talking about Zay Flowers. So he's starting to get that buzz. I think he'll live up to the buzz. We'll see. Uh, you know, obviously, hopefully no injuries and things like that. But if he stays healthy, 
Um, Jay Flowers should be in line for a good rookie season, but as of right now, we'll keep it this simple. He's having a good training camp, and uh, maybe he'll get some involvement in preseason. All right, all right, defense. Defense. They said their pass rush today was consistent. Uh, they really didn't drop names about exactly who they were talking about on the pass rush. But they did say the pass rush today was consistent getting to the quarterbacks. Uh, that's, that's Lamar Jackson, Josh Johnson, Tyler Huntley. Um, but they still said that Lamar Jackson was able to make enough plays against a good pass rush to still have big plays down the field. So that's good. You know, um, you know, you want to see the pass rush get after it because... Um, like I said, I'm not really too worried about the pass rush as much now. It's solely shifted to the cornerback position now because of all the injuries, right? Uh, but the pass rush is having one of those good days. That's great. Um, Sounds like they were talking about a lot of the, uh, it could be the interior or exterior guys. Either way, the Ravens got to get pressure on the quarterback, and they did that today. But Lamar Jackson overcame that and still made the plays on the back end. Um, so speaking of pass rush, I guess we got to mention the Jadavion Clowney. The Ravens did offer him a contract. I put that in the, in the community post. Um, whether or not he signs it, we shall see. Whether or not the offer was good, who knows? Um, yeah, that, that's my thoughts with David Conley, right? I, I can't really go into full detail about it just because I don't. If he doesn't sign here, I don't want to waste the time talking about it and his stats and all this. But he is the kind of guy where the Ravens could use him, right? Ty's Bowser's out for an extended period of time. We don't know when he's coming back. They haven't really made that clear um, if he's going to be ready for it when the season starts. So Javion Clowney could be the kind of guy that has that kind of set the edge, run stop, drop back a little bit, not as good as Tyus Bowser, but drop back a little bit in coverage and make some plays like that. Um, so he would be a good signing um, to cover up that kind of role. Uh, so that's, what, that's as much as I'll say. If they sign him, you know, we'll talk about it more. And then last piece I want to get into is John Harbaugh mentioned that uh, playing time in the Ravens opener versus the Philadelphia Eagles as far as preseason goes. He says none of the established starters will play, so that means no Lamar Jackson, no Mark Andrews. You know, go down the list of guys you can think of as established starters. They're not going to play. Odell Beckham, this and that. You know, just think about those guys. They're not going to play. Now, he did say Zay Flowers is a possibility to play a training camp. I mean, in training camp, excuse me, in the preseason game versus the Eagles. He said it's a possibility. Uh, in my opinion, uh, let Zay get out there for a series or two, see what he can do. And, um, I mean, he's a rookie, you know what I mean? He, well, I'm sure he's chomped at the bit to get out there, his first NFL action. I can't imagine that, even though he's a first-round pick, I can't imagine you let him go out there, first NFL game, which is week one versus Texans, right? Um, get him a series or two versus this team, versus the Eagles week one, then maybe a little bit more week two, and then shut him down week three, right? Then he'll get ready for the uh, Texans week one. That's that's that, that's how, That would be my thought process in getting Zay Flowers acclimated. But we'll see what the Ravens do, man. Um, but yeah, so the big news for practice is that the offense sharp once again. Uh, like I said, by my count, that's three out of the four days this week. The offense has won and has won pretty handily, honestly. So hey, that's great, man. After you know everything that happened the week before, offense bounced back in a major way. It's been incredibly sharp. And uh, cornerback, cornerback is a major issue for the Ravens. They virtually have no guys that have real NFL experience at the moment. Um, it's kind of Marlon Humphrey and, and, and that's it right now. You know, we don't know how serious the Armour Davis injury is. Rocky Seen, we don't know. Uh, but Pepe Williams was carted off the field today. So that would tell you that that's probably pretty serious. You know, hopefully it's not. He gets lucky. But Ravens are very, very thin at cornerback right now. So, uh, but that's your Ravens news for today, man. I'm going to get out of here. Um, tomorrow, you know, we'll do come back, talk about some more Ravens. And you know how it is, man. Uh, consider hitting that subscribe button. It's Gabriel. This is other fan TV. Mouth.